we're currently in the process of making this channel even better and how we're going to kind of do that is just kind of give you you know an insight to what we've got already here on the channel and we break down uh, loads of these videos that we've currently got uh, giving you um, old games uh, previously uh, ones that I've owned you know in the past currently I have a collection of great PlayStation 2 games which uh, are currently owned by Chris 2013 and recently uh, he's going back to um, the collection already and you can see PlayStation 2 games so with our review and our video on the way we come straight to Star Wars Battlefront now this was when PlayStation 2 was great because you had the expansion bay, you had the PlayStation 2, you had the console, you had the games to play them on. But they kind of, you know, took them away. Um, and for me, we were just picking the console up straight away, you know, with the games. We weren't too bothered about, you know, uh, the online modes and stuff like that. But I bet you can still buy it even now. But if you was to, you know, put the hard drive into the PlayStation 2, there will be no way of actually going online on these games anymore. Which is a shame, really, because a game like Star Wars Battlefront, you know, you'd be excited, wouldn't you? You'd be excited to play the game straight away online. But you can't, obviously. Uh, we had a thing called Net Play. Uh, which was obviously the hard drive uh, and you just basically find you know a lead uh, probably to you know an old phone or something like that and you just plug it straight into the hard drive and into the wall so with Star Wars Battlefront you had um, the rebels the Imperials the clone troopers the battle droids uh, you got the pilot uh, who basically um, you know, uses his 30 vehicles, including the ATT, X Wings, and the Snow Speeders. Um, I've never tried this mode before, but uh, you can battle on unique planets from the entire Star Wars saga. This had uh, another mode on here too, which was uh, massive because it had, you know, massive, you know, online battles with 16 players. That's the thing I was telling you about which you can't even play online on anymore but you know not really bothered really what I'm more interested in is uh, just you know setting up the PlayStation 2 again plugging all the leads into the back and into the wall and just going straight online on these games again but you can't um, because we've moved on to the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 now so all those games you know you can kind of come back to uh, you can also choose weapons wisely with each soldier, so it doesn't matter whether you've chosen you know, a different weapon or a different gun. Uh, what really matters is that you've took the time out to just find a weapon that you know, you're more comfortable actually using in the game. So that's Star Wars Battlefront. We move on to the Resident Evil uh, saga, which of course is Resident Evil 4. And you can kind of go back to the old original game, which of course was Resident Evil 1, uh, back in the old mansion. So what they've kind of done this time is with the PlayStation 4 version, is they've basically remastered the whole game. Um, they've decided to bring back that old game again, and put it on the PlayStation 4. Uh, but the graphics, you know, you'll see, they're a lot more better than the PlayStation 1 but you know it's not really about the graphics really is it it's about the game and how much you know you actually get out of it so this is Resident Evil 4 uh, 10 out of 10 I definitely give it a 10 out of 10 because it's a great game on the PlayStation 2 and it has all those original characters as well um, I think uh, Wesk is in this one as well or he might be in the uh, ones previously after this but 
I'll have to go back and see. So that's Resident Evil 4. We got Tekken 4, great beat em up. Tekken 5, and SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. So this is Chris Week 2013. Gonna, I'm going to end this video right now and I'll join you in the next one. Bye.